Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Volvo, then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a V70 2 litre D4 SE Nav Geartronic. 2015 on a 65 plate. Has only done 41,435 miles with a great service history. Fuel economy, urban 51.4 miles per gallon. Extra urban 67.3 miles per gallon and combined is 60.1 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8.1 seconds, a top speed of 137 miles per hour, out of a four cylinder, 181 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Okay, well it's a bit too windy to uh, film the outside today and <laughs> when I say windy it's uh, it's gale force but that's the key into the slot on the dashboard click the button and that uh, that starts the engine um, big fan of Volvo's very very well built nicely finished pretty simple good materials um, everything feels well safety orientated to be fair um, practical for instance this plenty of room in it uh, ideal dogmobile uh, <laughs> get the kids to university get the kids back from university it's it's just a, it's, it's a really really nice car automatic as well all the better for being automatic to be fair apart from it being very very windy <laughs> the, the wind's coming that way hang on I'll, I'll just uh, well you can see that that bird just not it's not flying it's just nose into the wind So that's why I'm not outside at the moment. Okay, so we'll get going. It's got sat nav there. There's the the nav switch. Screen's big enough for you. I do not like the ones with iPads, big iPads at the front. Volvo were very kind a few weeks ago and they lent me a, a new estate one of these hybrid ones that's supposed to do 100 miles an hour it was very very good it was lovely oh, sorry not 100 miles an hour 100 miles to the gallon it was very very good but uh, I couldn't get anywhere near 100 miles to the gallon and uh, this 67 miles to the gallon supposedly I don't think that is achievable to most people but I would suggest if you got 50 miles to the gallon out of a car this size you'd be pretty happy I'd be pretty happy to be fair it's got a height and reach adjustable steering wheel I forgot to tell you the service history Pull over and just go through the service history. Pull over, there's a huge divot there, need to be careful with. So, service history 22nd of the 8th, 2016, at 11,951 miles, Volvo Solihull. 10th of the 8th, 2017 at 18,696 miles, Volvo, <laughs> silly hull, <laughs> obviously a spelling mistake there. 28th of the 3rd, 2019 at 20,490 miles, Fords of Winsford, so I would suggest Fords sold that vehicle, and to be fair, they, they usually do sell good vehicles, so I'm quite happy with that. 6th of the 3rd, 2020 
at 26,560 miles. Corner Garage, again Nigel at Corner Garage. I've known him since he was a kid, so uh, I can I can recommend that too. 8th of the 2nd, 2021, 33,101 miles. BK Jump Volvo Specialist. 20th of the 1st, 2022, at 40,452 miles j, j Motors Fleetwood so good service history it was only serviced um, a thousand miles ago right, nothing coming we'll get off again oh, there's still nothing coming but I'll just so there we go I ain't reached adjustable steering wheel satin kind of checker plate finish um, really really nice car multi-spoke alloy wheels nice Volvo grill you, you, you know it's a Volvo coming this has got the heated front screen too which is uh, a brilliant extra Close tailgate, high pressure headlamp wash, reversing sensors. Nice armchair like seats. I've got the heater on at the moment, that's on three, and it's way, way too hot for me. Um, so, just I can just do it a little bit further back. There we go. That, that's great everything nice to hand you can just about see quite a nice touch really because there's a little raised bit on the top of the indicators and the wiper stalk so you can just see over the quarter to three steering wheel spoke position and in the end there click in there you can click across there you go click in there and then you've got messages oil level service status traction control options oops just flick too far then digital speed Yep, and that's why. <laughs> that's why tractors should have horns. But I wasn't frightened because I'm in a Volvo. <laughs> Lovely car to drive. Also on the controls here, you've got my car there. Click my car, and then this uh, my V70. Now you've got start stop there. Click again, then we can actually go into the menus, tire monitor settings click on settings driver support system system options voice control settings climate settings internet settings and information number of keys VIN number that's the back button there internet settings in a car system options Languages, distance and fuel, temperature units, screensaver, and and well, you, you get the picture. That that's where you adjust all your settings. You've got cruise control, fairly simple cruise control. Switch on, and then click the plus or the minus, whichever you want to do. And there we can increase the speed with the plus and decrease it with the minus. That's 
off. That's reset. Over here, your voice control, volume control. Electric window switches here. Electric dormer is there. And if I do that, I press both the left and right. They fold in, so we've got power folding door mirrors. Just click the right one, and just move the right, and then onto the left. That's all working too. We'll go back to nav. Chap came in the other day. His car had just blown up. Um, needed a car quickly. He's a, a part-time antiques dealer. He was looking for a car around about three thousand pound. We well, hadn't got anything, and I, and I just said to him, "Look, it's pointless buying something of the modern era for three thousand pound because." more than likely will just go wrong go and get yourself an old Volvo estate <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter how many miles it's done it'll just keep going and you'll get all your antiques in the back Design. I like the shape of them. Um, I, I like the materials they use, and I like the people who buy them. And I, I've said this in a previous video. I like the, the people who have them, and I like the people who buy them, because I, I, I don't think I'll ever take the car in part exchange or sold a Volvo to somebody. Who, I've not liked and who hasn't been nice and respectable and, and good manners um, I, I, I like the customers they attract to the business proper people I look at this car it's got floor mats in carpet floor mats and then over the carpet floor mat it's got rubber mats belt and braces if uh, if you if you ever were, used to watch just good friends a long time ago Jan Francis and Paul Nicholas Penny's dad drove a Volvo <laughs> And he was a nice bloke. The Saint, he drove a Volvo. Just trying to think who else. And my dad had a Volvo and he was a nice bloke. My, my, my dad had just about every car under the sun, but Volvo, although it was a horrible colour, it was a great car. roads for a saloon car or a, a, normal, a normal estate car they're not very forgiving lots of bumps in them potholes but it's uh, it's a pleasant and comfortable ride nice big front central armrest here if I just lift that up there's a catch on this side in there got a USB and auxiliary in and room to put stuff hide it out of the way and then cup holders power 
socket can't remember what that button does web browser web browser in the car Web browser unavailable at this speed. Oh, well, I suppose that's a good thing. So onto the dash. Left hand side, you got fuel gauge. And uh, actually, I don't know what that one is there. I can't see what it is. Oh, that's your that's your eco gauge. It tells you how you're driving. Then you've got your speedo in the centre. In the centre of the speedo, there's a digital speedo temperature gauge tells you whether the cruise control is on or off and then also your odometer mileometer mileage indicator call it what you will and trip counter too on the right hand side there is a rev counter Uh, an up and down rev counter and then you've got the gear indicator it tells you what gear you're in which is good actually because it just reminds me if I knock the gear selector over there the revs immediately go up it's more responsive you can change down with the selector and up with the selector I bet that's the first time it's ever been used. Instead of um, adding things to cars these days, especially with the chip shortage, they need to be taking them away. There's, there's lots of stuff that needs to be taken off cars. Just stuff... I think they should do a mass survey and see what gadgets people actually use and anything that drops below 20% of people using get rid Just think of all those microchips you'd save and how much money and how many repairs when they go wrong Rid of lane departure warning and mood lighting. Actually, I just thought this has got yeah, it's electronic handbrake. It's, that's over there on that side. Your lights are there. Open your fuel flap from there and open your boot from there. photograph of that so I'll have to remember to do it nice quiet car ideal if you're retired a couple of deck chairs in the back there picnic basket come up here sit in a lay-by while away the day Preferably when it's sunny. This, this this car would just last you forever. I'd also like to know. They should also publish whole life costs of vehicles, and I think that would be an eye opener, uh, especially to your BMW and your, your Mercedes drivers and Audi drivers too. think when you I suppose you'd only you'd only really be able to calculate it at the end of its life and you'd probably not be able to calculate bone votes because they never die they just keep going but even even that chap with the p1800 s is uh, done three million miles 
<laughs> still going. The guy who bought it, he's dead. But the car's still going. And probably will just keep going. So anyway, it's, it's largely uneventful driving a Volvo. Except when you come across huge tractors at certain death corner. Because I think he'd have come off worse to be fair. Good company Volvo. And you know, funnily enough, I'm just thinking about with, with my video, with my YouTube channel, occasionally manufacturers lend me cars and uh, Volvo, <laughs> the guy at Volvo, you, you get some really snotty ones, um, you know I've been in the motor trade for 50 years, I think I know what I'm talking about, largely. But you get some really snotty ones. This, uh, who was it? Anyway, they said well, when you get to seven thousand subscribers. Oh no, I was at seven thousand subscribers. He said when you get to ten thousand subscribers, come back to us and, and uh, we, we'll we'll see about lending your car. Ten thousand subscribers. A few months later, no. Twenty thousand subscribers, no. I'm at 23,000 subscribers now, and uh, to be honest, now I'm too busy to, to, to do it, but the, the Volvo guy, 68,000 pound car, yeah, Ford, yeah, Skoda, yeah, Honda, yeah, they, they loved me a car in the past. But the, the the other the other people very very difficult very difficult there we go it's uh, a lovely car we've got we've got two Volvo estates in at the moment as well so check our website ggcars.co.uk and give us a shout if we can do anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.